Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections in STAD Pro using RAM connection. In this video, we will focus on designing gusset connections for all of our braced frames. Let's now turn our attention back to our sample model. As we take a look at this model, we're going to notice that we have two separate types of joins that will require gusset type connections. Our model contains column beam brace joints and also chevron brace joints. Let's start with the column beam brace joints first. In my ribbon toolbar, I'm going to select my connection design tab and select my column beam brace joints by using my select joints command. Now on the screen for my braced frames, I'm going to take a look to see if the program was successful in selecting all of the braced frames that will require this type of gusset connection. I can see a couple of the braces and a couple of the beam and column members were missed through the selection process. So manually, I'm going to hold down my control key and select the other members that I also want included in this connection design. You may have to zoom in and out to complete this process or rotate your screen if that makes it easier. Now that my selection is complete, I'm ready to assign some gusset connections to this model. To do this, I'm going to go up to the Connection Design tab in my ribbon toolbar, and I'm going to select my gusset connection command. Here, the program is going to give me all the different options I have for gusset plates, and I'm going to select my column beam brace connections. Now, all gusset connections are considered smart connections. We just have them separated out into a separate command to make them easier to find. For this exercise, I'm going to select a gusset plate, a CBB connection, and I'm going to go with a CBB SP or shear plate style connection. I'm going to select the template I want and move it over to the selected window and complete this process by clicking OK. The program is going through the connection design and I'm going to take a look at the validation report. Now the first thing I'm going to look for is to see if any joints were not assigned a connection and I can see that that is not the case for this exercise. But as I take a look, I can see that the status for most of them turned out OK, but a couple of them have received some warnings. So let's go ahead and click Close, and we'll take a look over at the RAM Connection Input dialog to see what the warnings might be looking like. So I can see I have three different gusset plates that are indicated in yellow, which means that they do have a warning associated with them. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the first connection that I received a warning on. Now as I select this connection, you're going to notice that the corresponding connection in my view window is going to turn in red, so you know exactly where you are on screen. I'm going to double click that connection, which will bring me to the connection pad where I can review this joint information. Now before I decide to edit any of the connection parameters, I'll take a look at the results report for this connection. Again, noting that this interaction ratio is in yellow, which means that there is a warning. Now, as I scroll down in the report, I'm going to look for anything where a warning might be indicated. OK, and here I found my warning that the connector does not fit well on the beam. So that's more of a geometric consideration, which is why it's a warning and not an error. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the connection pieces and see if there's something I could change to achieve a more successful or passing connection design. Well, first we need to select our interface that we are interested in for, for this connection. And I am interested in my upper left brace. 
And you're going to notice that when you select an interface that is appropriate for your joint, the rest of the parameters will become available. So if you're not sure if you're on the right or the left, you could just select one at a time and see which one it considers this. OK. And then I could take a look at the gusset, or I can take a look at any of these other interfaces. I'm going to say the gusset to column connection. OK. And as I work my way down here, I can adjust any of these parameters as needed. Now, as I go down, I'm going to find within the connection type to column field, instead of using a single plate, perhaps I want to go with a directly welded connection instead. Because remember, a geometric consideration is what was uh, bothering the connection design or producing that warning. Now, if I change that, instead of a shear plate that was connecting the gusset to the column, instead of that, if I just go with a directly welded connection, it looks like I'm passing that geometric consideration, because now my interaction ratio is in green, which means the warning has been removed. Now, if I like this detailing of this connection, I can go ahead and click Save. And I can exit out of the connection pad. Now we can see that the status has been updated, and that connection has been saved to the database. Now, more than likely, the other connections could be adjusted in the same exact way. Let's go ahead and move on to the other type of gusset connection that we have in this model, which is a chevron brace. I'm going to select all my beam to brace joints by going to my select joints command and I'll select my beam to brace joints. Again, I can see that one of these joints was missed through that selection process. So I'm going to hold down my control key and select the members associated with that. If you're unsure of which members to select, basically any of the members that are running to that gusset joint uh, should be selected. So any braces, so both braces and both sides of the beams should be selected with the beams cursor. Again, I'm going to go and select a gusset connection for this joint. I need to select a CVR style gusset connection. And I'm just going to select this one and move it over. We'll click OK. And the status for all of these is set to OK as well. As I move down, if I wanted to take a look at any of those Chevron brace connections, I can take a look at them in the connection pad. Now, a few additional notes that we should talk about when talking about gusset connections is that RAM connection will assume that all of the braces within a gusset connection are only carrying axial load. So for this particular model, I have assigned the truss specification to all of my braces in my model to ensure that the analysis is consistent with the connection design. Now this concludes our process for assigning gusset connections to our braced frames in our model in STAD Pro. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.